without much further ado, I want to get to the word of God. Nataka tushiriki neno la Mungu. And we are going to read from the book of Acts chapter 1. Tunasoma matendo ya mitume mlango wa kwanza. Verse 9 to 11. Mstari wa 9 hadi 11. Acts chapter 1. Matendo ya mitume 1. Verse 9 to 11. This is what the Bible says. When he had spoken these things, while they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Just hold it there before you remove that. He said what? That this same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Amen. In other words, mengine, the angels were quick to remind this man as they gazed up in the sky that the very Jesus whom they had seen being taken up into ya, heaven ya kwamba ule yesu mbinguni, in broad daylight as they watched would someday come back pia siku moja, as people watched. Watu Amen. In other words, he will not come in secret Hata kuja kwa siri. Hata kuja kwa njia ya siri. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He will not come in secret. Hata kuja kwa njia ya siri. He will come and everybody will know that Jesus has come. Atarejea na kila mtu atajua Yesu amerejea. In the same manner and so when you hear someone saying that Jesus, there's a Jesus that appeared someplace in Kasarani, someplace in Kawangwari, it is a lie because we have not seen him come. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so these men were being encouraged that they will not uh, go under now that their savior had gone. They were reminded that he will someday come back. And years have gone. And we have heard people talk about Jesus coming back soon. Until some of us have started feeling like it was a hoax he is not coming back. But this morning I want to remind you. As you are seated in this place. That this same Jesus is coming back back Tell your neighbor the king is coming back again. The king is coming back again. Now we need to understand that there are some celebrations that we normally celebrate and that we make them so elaborate. Like when we are celebrating Christmas. Most of the time, normally people travel. It's a time of going to meet with your loved ones. And it's one of the greatest seasons in the history of mankind. The birth of Jesus Christ. We also come to points where we celebrate uh, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yet again, it's worth noting today that there is another event that is coming soon. An event that is very important and this is the event of the coming back of the king. He is coming back soon. And therefore, you and I ought to be prepared for his coming back. We cannot live as a people who are not aware that Jesus will be coming back. We need to come to a point of realizing that he is coming back. And he is not only coming back as king because already he is king of kings. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Amen. And that's why I started by saying the king is coming back. He is not coming back to be crowned king. Because he is already king. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He is coming back because he promised that he was going to prepare a place for us. According to the book of John chapter 14 verse 2 to 3 we can read that. John chapter 14 verse 2 to 3. It says in my father's house this was Jesus talking to his disciples. He says in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so I'd have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He promised that he is coming back. And therefore, in as much as years have gone and years have passed, we still need to live in expectation because he is coming back. We need to live in intimacy with him because he is coming back. And this time around, when he is coming back, he will not come back like a small baby who will be laid in a manger. But he is coming back as the judge. And he's coming to judge us according to how we have lived our lives in relation to him. And so my prayer for you and I is that we will seek and endeavor to draw closer to him day after day. Because his coming is sooner than we expect. If you are like me, the events that are currently happening on earth will tell you that he is coming back soon. There are things that are happening that used not to happen in the ages of our grandparents. But, but they are happening now. The Bible says that as the coming of Christ draws nearer, then people will get deeper and deeper in sin. And that's what we are seeing in the current dispensation. In the olden days, people would never come in broad daylight and tell you that they are worshipping the devil. But as it were now, people are priding in being agents of the enemy. In the olden days, you could not never ever hear of same sex marriage. But now it's even being engrafted in our law and in the systems of the nations. It's being treated as if it is normal. In the olden days, you never used to hear of abortions. But nowadays, it has become like a human right. That a woman can abort at will. We are hearing of rumors of war everywhere. To mention one in the recent past, it's been Ukraine and Russia. Mambo ya Ukraine na Russia. And so you are hearing of war both internal as a, uh, within nations and internations. Vita katika mataifa na pia katika mataifa mbali mbali. You are hearing of strange floods that are hitting nations after nations. Those who are able to watch the news on Monday the 31st of July, there was such a bad flood in the nation of China. Kulikuwa na mafuriko makubwa sana pale China. And a flood that was sweeping even vehicles, bringing buildings down. And they were saying that over 140 years, there has never been rain like that one. In other words, we are hearing earthquakes back and forth. And these were some of the things that we were given as warnings that when you start seeing some of these things, you know the coming of Jesus Christ is just around the corner. 
Yaani matukio tunaambiwa tukianza kuyaona itakuwa ni kwamba Yesu anakaribia kurejea. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and help me preach and tell them the king is coming back soon. Ambia jirani yako mfalme anarejea hivi karibuni. Ask them are you prepared? Je, umejiandaa? If you heard the trumpet of the Lord sound today, kama unasikia tarumbeta ya Yesu leo, because he will come when everyone will be able to hear, everyone will hear that trumpet. Kila mtu atasikia ile tarumbeta. Will you be ready? Je, utakuwa tayari? Ask your neighbor, are you ready? Uko tayari? Are you walking in a manner that will cause you to be taken up when Jesus comes back? Je, unatembea kwa njia ambayo itakufanya upambe mbinguni Yesu anapoerejea? You know in the natural katika hali ya kihalisi when we see the dark clouds forming tukiona mawingu meusi ya kijipaa for the women who maybe have washed their clothes and the clothes are on the lines kwa wanawake ambao wamefunga nguo zao na wamezianika pale you dash outside to remove them unaenda pale nje kuziondoa for the women up country who have aired the maize to dry kwa wale wamama pale vijijini ambao wametandaza mahindi kauke they dash outside to start bringing the maize in wanaenda kuyatoa na kuweka katika nyumba because they know that it's just about to rain. Kwa sababu wanajua kwamba iko tayari tukunyesha. The clouds are good enough sign to show that it's about to rain. Mawingu ni ishara ya kutosha kuonyesha kutanyesha. Oh my brother my sister. Ndugu yangu dada yangu. It is just about time. Ni wakati tu unakaribia. The king is on the way. Yesu yuko njiani. We are just about to hear the trumpet sounding. Tuko karibu kusikia tarumbeta ikipiga. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And therefore as we await and as we put our houses in order tunapojiandaa na kuweka makao yetu katika na hali nzuri there is a manner in which we need to live ni lazima tuishi njia fulani there is a relationship we must develop with him lazima tukwe na uhusiano fulani pamoja naye because when he comes back kwa sababu anaporejea he wants to find you ready anataka kukupata ukiwa tayari in love with him ukiwa na upendo pamoja naye and he is not coming back for everyone na hakuji kwa kila mmoja he is coming back for those who have received him as lord and savior of their lives anakuja kwa wale ambao wamempokea kama bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yao praise the name of the lord amen people have gotten used to uh, to this saying of jesus is coming back soon watu wamezoea huu msemo kwamba yesu anarejea hivi karibuni and so others are even scoffing the very truth na wengine wanakejeli ukweli huo and causing many to fall into deception na wanafanya wengine waende kupotea and so we have so many christians who were once born again but have stepped into the area of deception na kuna wengi walikuwa wameokoka lakini sasa mara hii wameweza kudanganyika sana why because they have started imagining that there is still time kwa sababu wanatarajia wakisema bado kuna muda just like those foolish virgins wale wale ambao bikira ambao walikuwa ni wapumbavu who never had oil in their lamps hawakuwa na mafuta taa katika taa zao my brother my sister it's time to wak- have oil in your lamp ni wakati lazima uwe na mafuta kwenye taa yako because jesus is coming back soon kwa sababu yesu anarejea hivi karibuni jesus is coming back soon yesu anarejea hivi karibuni the houses he promised he was going to build are just about ready makao ambayo alisema anaenda kuandaa karibu yako tayari and so we better be ready too so lazima tuwe tayari pia praise the name of the lord jina la bwana as we await for him tunapomgojea yeye as we prepare for him tunapojiandaa kwa ajili yake we've been hearing people talk about the end time revival tunasikia watu wakisema ufufio wa siku za mwisho most of us have heard that there is a next move of god wengine wamesikia kwamba kuna msukumo mkubwa wa mungu that is just about to set in ambaye iko karibu tu kuanza or that has set in ama ambaye isha tayari shaanza that move of god hiyo kusonga kwa mungu will not be a manifestation of celebrities haitakuwa udhihirisho wa wale wa wale ma celebrity it's time for us to prepare ni wakati wetu sisi kujiandaa by growing intimate with the lord jesus christ ya kutengeneza uhusiano wetu na bwana yesu kristo because time is up for celebrity preachers kwa sababu wakati umeisha kwa wale ambao wanajivunia kuhubiri time is up for celebrity singers wakati umeisha kwa wale waimaji tu wa kutumbuiza watu those who would walk from one corner of the altar to the other wale ambao watakimbia kwenye madhabahu kutoka kwa namoja hadi nyingine as they are saying twende 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 and you are wondering where munaenda wapi praise the name of the lord amen time is up it is not a manifestation of celebrities so the hirisho tu wa maseleb 
But it is a time for you and I to seek intimacy with the King of Kings. Lakini wakati wa mimi na wewe kutafuta uhusiano wa karibu sana na mfalme wa wafalme. Because remember we are his bride. Kwa sababu sisi ni majivuno yake. And so he is coming back for us. So anakuja kwa sababu yetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It is time for us to walk with him in intimacy. Ni wakati sisi tutembee pamoja na yeye kwa ukaribu sana. Just like the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 5 verse 21 to 24. Venye Biblia inasema katika mwanzo Genesis chapter 5 verse 21 to 24 We want to look at the life of this man Tuangalie maisha ya mtu huyu and see how ought we to live Je tutaishi namna gani as we prepare for his second coming Tunapojiandaa kwa kurejea kwake Yesu This man Enoch Mtu huyu anaitwa Enoch The Bible says Enoch lived 65 years and begot Methuselah After he begot Methuselah Enoch walked with God. Can we read together? After he begot Methuselah, Enoch walked with God 300 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked with God and he was not for God to him praise the name of the lord amen this man enoch huyu mtu enoch he lived for 365 years aliishi miaka 365 and all that can be recorded about him is that he walked with god na historia yake inasema tu alitembea na mungu praise the name of the lord amen we are being told he begot sons and daughters after begetting Methuselah. Ni kwamba alipata binti na, na watoto wengine baada ya kuzaa Methuselah. But even after begotting sons and daughters, hata baada ya kuzaa watoto, he was not hindered from walking with God. Hakuzuiliwa kutembea na Mungu. He still loved the Lord. Alimpenda Mungu. His main priority was walking with God. Yeye mamako makuu ilikuwa ni kutembea pamoja na Mungu. Many a times when we are young we love the Lord. Wakati mwingi tukiwa wadogo tunampenda Mungu. But as soon as we get married we start being preoccupied by our spouses and our love for God starts fading away. Lakini wakati tunaoleka na kuoa tunaanza kuwa na mambo mengi tunaacha kuhusiana wetu na Mungu. When we get children we start using the children as our excuse of not loving the Lord the way we loved him. Tunapopata watoto tunawatumia kama vijiji sababu vya kutopenda Mungu jinsi tulivyompenda mwanzo. But the Bible talks of this man Enoch. Lakini Biblia inaongelea kuhusu mtu huyu Enoch. And the Bible says that he got sons and daughters. Kwamba alipata wana wa kike with God. Lakini alitembea na Mungu. He was intimate with God. Alikuwa na uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu. And in this dispensation God is looking for a people. Wakati huu Mungu anatafuta watu who will wait for his second coming by walking with him. Ambao watangojea kurejea kwake kwa kutembea pamoja naye. He is looking for people. Anaangalia watu who will not be hindered by family progress. Hawatazuiliwa na mambo ya kifamilia. But they will continue walking with God even as they progress in their families. Watatembea na Mungu pamoja na familia zao. A people who will not be hindered watu ambao hawatazuiliwa by the promotions we get in our workplaces katika kazi but they will continue walking with God. Lakini watatembea pamoja na Mungu. He is looking for a man or a woman atafuta mume ama mke who will not be hindered by challenges of the economy ambaye hatazuiliwa na mambo ya ya uchumi. They will say irrespective of the fact that my house has not been paid watasema hata kama nyumba yangu sijalipia I will still love this God I'll walk with him bado nitampenda Mungu na nitembee pamoja naye They will say in as much as I may not be able to buy the same basket of goods with the amount I had last year hata kama sitaweza kununua kikapu cha vitu vingi nyingi mwaka uliopita I will still walk with God bado nitatembea pamoja na Mungu Praise the name of the Lord Amen Enoch walked with God Enoch akatembea na Mungu Enoch walked with God Enoch alitembea na Mungu Will it be said said of you that you walked with God Wacha isemekane kwako kwamba ulitembea na Mungu My brother my sister will it be said of you that you have been walking with God Je itasemekana kwako ulitembea na Mungu We must separate ourselves from all those things that are clogging our lives so that we can begin walking with God Lazima tutengane na mambo ambayo 
anatuzuia tusitembee pamoja na Mungu. As we await his second coming, tunapongojea urejeo wake wa pili. We must endeavor to grow in intimacy with him. Lazima tunganganye tuishi kwa uhusiano wa karibu pamoja naye. So that he can release the next move, the next revival that we have been talking about. Ili aweze kuachilia udhihirisho uvio ambao unakuja. And by the way, a revival is not people jumping and singing. Na ufivio sio watu kuruka na kuimba tu. A revival is people loving God. Ufivio ni wale watu kumpenda Mungu. A revival is people walking with God in intimacy. Ni watu kutembea na Mungu kwa ukaribu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Enoch walked with God. Enoch akatembea na Mungu. Ask your neighbor are you walking with God? Uliza jirani yako je, unatembea na Mungu? Ask the other one are you walking with God? Uliza mwingine unatembea na Mungu? We must walk with God to an extent that his DNA will be formed in our lives. Lazima tutembee na Mungu ili madini yake yapatikane ndani wetu. His DNA does not have lack of integrity. Ya kama madini ama chembechembe zake hazikosi ile kwa una uhakika His DNA does not have deception in him. Michembechembe zake hazina uongo. His DNA cannot carry sin. Michembechembe zake hazibebi dhambi. We must walk with him. Lazima tutembee pamoja naye. Until we are no more. Ili tukue hatu, hatu, hatuishi ila yeye anaishi. Until he has been formed inside of us. Ili ajitengeneze ndani yetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Bible talks of the same in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Katika Galatia 2:20. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me my brother my sister can it be said of you that it is no longer you that lives but Christ A time has come wakati umefika when the old self has to die ndio kwamba ukale wako unafaa ufe the old self has to be crucified ukale wako inafaa kusulubishwa so that it will no longer be us who live ndio kwamba sio sisi tunaoishi but Christ lives in us lakini Yesu anaishi ndani yetu now enoch is a representation enoch ni ule mfano the life of enoch is a representation maisha ya enoch ni udhihirisho or an example ama mfano of passion and intimacy with god ile msukumo na upendo wa kuwa na ushirikiano na mungu It's a representation ni udhihirisho of passion and intimacy with spiritual things. Ya msukumo na ushirikiano na mambo ya kiroho. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It is a manifestation ni udhihirisho that is able to go past the gates of fame. Ambayo inaenda zaidi ya mambo ya kujivuna. Past the gates of glory na zaidi ya utukufu to a point where kwa kiwango ambacho you are not looking for fame or popularity hautafuti kujulikana na watu all you want kile ambacho unahitaji is that the lord will know you ya kwamba mungu aweze kukujua that the lord will know your name ya kwamba mungu ajue jina lako like a new job of old kama yule ayubu wa kitambo when the sons of men went to present themselves walipoenda kujidhihirisha watu watoto wanadamu and the enemy also presented himself there na pia adui akajitokeza pale god comes to a point he's asking the devil akaulizia shetani have you seen my son job je umeona mtoto wangu ayubu Have you seen my son Job? Je, umeona mtu wangu Ayubu? His ways are pleasing to me. Ya kwamba njia zake zinanipendeza. If today the sons of God would present themselves. Je, wakati huu watoto wa Mungu wakijitokeza. And God were to give a testimony about you. Na Mungu angetoa ushuhuda kwa kuhusu. Would he say that your ways are pleasing to je, him? Je, atasema njia zako zinampendeza? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Would God says, "Have you seen my daughter Anne? Je, Have you seen my son John?" Je Mungu atataja hayo majina anasema umeona mtoto wangu John ama binti yangu Anne? Would he say that your ways are pleasing to him? Je, atasema njia zako zinampendeza? For Job, kwa Ayubu, God was able to ask the devil. Ye, Mungu aliweza kumuuliza shetani. Have you seen my son? Je, umeona mtoto wangu? Because his ways were pleasing to him. Kwa sababu njia zake zilikuwa zinampendeza. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to bring it to us today. Nataka niwaleteni sisi wetu. That the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. Ya kwamba Yesu Kristo anarejea. He is not just coming back for a person who is called a Christian. Hakuji tu kwa yule ambaye anajiita mkristo. But he is coming back for his sons. Anakuja kwa wana wake. He is coming back for those who are walking with him in intimacy. Anakuja kwa wale ambao wanatembea na yeye kwa ukaribu. He is coming back for the 
remnants. Anakuja kwa wale ambao wamebakiwa. And the remnants are those who are able and willing to walk like uh, Enoch walked with Ni him. Ni wale ambao wako tayari kutembea jinsi Enoch alitembea pamoja naye. Are people who are willing to tarry in the place of intimacy. Watu ambao wanatamani kukaa katika uhusiano pamoja naye. Until they will be able to grow roots downwards and fruits upwards. Mpaka wame mizizi ndani na matunda juu yao. Why? Because roots are normally a symbol of the stability of a tree. Kwa sababu mizizi ni mfano na ni msingi wa usimamizi wa mti. When we are saying as a Christian you need to grow roots in your place of intimacy. Unaposema kama Mkristo lazima umee mizizi kwa katika ushirikiano wao na wako na Mungu. What it means is that it will be defining your stability. Ni kwamba hiyo itaonyesha msimamo wako. That when the various winds will be blowing back and forth you cannot be uprooted. Ya kwamba upepo unapopiga kushoto kulia hautaweza kungoleka. And currently we have various winds that are blowing back and forth. Na wakati huu tuko na upepo aina nyingi ambazo zinapepea. Winds that are causing us to get into vehicles and travel places because you've had someone is going to prophesy. Kunaingia kwenye magari na mahali kwa sababu unasikia kuna nabii fulani mahali fulani. Winds that are causing us to run when we hear a Nigerian preacher is in town. Upepo ambao inatufanya tunakimbia tukisikia muhubiri mu Nigeria yuko pale town. Winds that are causing us to run when we hear there's a preacher who is making single people get married. Tukisikia kwamba kuna muhubiri anaombea watu wakipata mabwana na mabibi. We need to grow roots downwards. Lazima tumee mizizi ikienda chini. So that every wind of doctrine will not be blowing us away. Ya kwamba upepo wote wa mambo ya kidini siku inatupeperusha tu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's only when our roots are growing downwards. Ni wakati ambapo mizizi zetu inamea kwenda chini. That we will have fruit. Ndio ambapo tutaweza kuwa na matunda. And we will have fruit that remains. Na itakuwa ni matunda mbaya yanasalia. Now our roots in the presence of the Lord. Mizizi yetu katika uwepo wa Mungu. Is what will actually cause us to tarry until Jesus comes back. Na hiyo nitatufanya tuweze kukaa mpaka Yesu aweze kurejea. And as we grow in intimacy with God, tunapokaa katika ushirika na Mungu, we must realize that in the place of intimacy, tunapata kwamba kwamba katika hiyo hali ya ushirika, we do not go as a group. Hatuendi kama kikundi. It is my decision. Ya kwamba ni maamuzi yangu. Not my decision and my friend Pastor Kaunda. Sio uamuzi wangu na rafiki yangu Pastor Kaunda. He has to make his own going deeper, deeper in the Lord. Atatugua maamuzi yake kwenda zaidi kwa Mungu. And I have to make mine. Na pia lazima nitaamua kimyangu. We cannot go there as a group. Hatutaenda pale kama kikundi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Because there is a realm in God where you go alone. Ni kwamba kuna mahali kwa Mungu ambapo unaenda wewe peke yako. There is a realm in the spiritual place. Kuna mahali katika ulimwengu wa kiroho where you strip yourself of every title. Ni kwamba unayondoa mataji yote kwako. So that as you go there, ambapo unaingia pale, you go as a child of God. Unaenda kama mtoto wa Mungu. You do not go as a CEO. Hauendi pale kama CEO. You don't go as a pastor. Hauendi kama mchungaji. You do not go as a bishop. Hauendi kama askofu. You don't go as Mrs. Kaun hauendi uendi kama mke wa kaunda but you go as a child of god unaenda kama mwana wa mungu praise the name of the lord amen and god is seeking na mungu anatafuta that you start making an effort ya kwamba uweze kujitia to kuhu. get yourself there ya kwamba ujielekeze pale praise the name of the lord amen you have to strip yourself of everything lazima uondoe mambo fulani kwako the bible talks in the book of genesis chapter 28 katika mwanzo 28 This time when Jacob was running away from Esau wakati Yakobo alikuwa anakimbia kutoka kwa ndugu yake Esau And he was headed to his uncle's place Laban Alikuwa anakimbia kwa mjomba wake Laban As he started off then he got to a place halfway Alipofika pale njiani He decided he's going to sleep because night had gotten him on the way Aliamua tena kulala kwa sababu giza alikuwa limempata njiani And as he slept in Genesis chapter 28 Alipolala pale katika mwanzo 28 He laid his head on a pillow Akaweka kichwa chake kwenye a pillow that was a stone kwenye jiwe and as he slept the bible says alipolala bibi nasema hivi that he saw a ladder that was bringing angels back and forth from up down akaona ngazi ambayo ilikuwa inaleta malaika kutoka juu hadi chini and he saw the lord at the uh, the topmost part of the ladder na akaona mungu katika upeo wa ngazi ile and when he woke up he said alipoamka akasema hivi oh surely oh kwa hakika the presence of the lord who is here uwepo wa mungu uko mahali hapa then he anointed a rock there na akatia mafuta 
vile jiwe as a symbol of the presence of the lord kama ishara ya uwepo wa mungu and it tells the lord i will worship you if you bless me on my journey na akasema nitakuabudu utapokuwabariki katika njia ya safari yangu and he went to the uncle's place na akaenda katika pale kwa mjomba wake stayed there for 20 years akaishi pale miaka 20 not remembering the very god who had appeared to him at bethel bila kusahau kwa kusahau ule mungu ambaye alimkumbuka pale bethel not remembering the ladder that he saw hakukumbuka ile ngazi ambaye aliona for 20 years he had forgotten kwa miaka 20 alikuwa amesahau just like many of us one day got born again ndipo sasa wengine wetu siku moja tuliokoka and that made an end of it na hiyo ikaishia pale we said oh surely tukasema oh kwa hakika that church had the presence of god kanisa ilikuwa na uwepo wa mungu did you see how they were singing uliona walipokuwa kiimba did you see how the pastor preached je uliona vile msungaji alihubiri and we were elated by that na tukafendezwa na ile And so we came and received the Lord Jesus Christ. Nikuja na kumpokea Kristo Yesu. But we have not pursued intimacy with Lakini him. Lakini hatujafuata mshikamano pamoja naye. We have been clogged by so much just like Jacob was clogged by so much in the house of Laban. Tumeshikamana na mambo mengi kama Yakobo aliposhikamana na mambo katika hapa kwa Mwanzo. But a time came. Lakini wakati ulifika. And Jacob was going back to his motherland. Alikuwa akirudi kwenye nchi ya mama yake. And he got to a place. Akafika mahali. Where he remembered. Akakumbuka. About the Lord his God. In Genesis chapter 32 katika mwanzo 32 and as he remembered about the Lord his God alipokumbuka bwana wake he decided to get his family his two wives his children his property because he was now full akaamua kuchukua jamii yake kwa sababu alikuwa sasa na mali nyingi and so he decided to help them cross the river Jabok akawasaidia kuvuka mto Jabot so that he can remain on this other side alone ili aweze kubasalia nyambo ile peke yake so he helped them cross the river Jabok akawasaidia wakavuka mto Jabok and he remained here alone akabaki akasalia peke yake and the bible says he wrestled with god na bibi anasema akapigana na mungu a whole night siku nzima praise the name of the lord amen the river the, the name Jabok jina Jabot means inamaanisha emptying yourself Kuji, kujitoa wewe mwenyewe pouring out yourself kujitoa ndani yako wewe mwenyewe and so that's what jacob did hiyo ndio yakobo alifanya he emptied himself of his wives alijitoa utupu wake na watu wake he emptied himself of his children akajitoa watoto wake he emptied himself of every property that he had acquired from his uncle laban akatoa mali yake yote ambayo alikuwa amepata kwenye mjomba wake forgot about them as they crossed jabog walipovuka mto jako he could not now remember them hakuwakumbuka tena then he remained alone akabasalia yeye peke yake empty handed akiwa mtupu with nothing to show the lord hakuwa na kitu yote ya kujionyesha kwa mungu with no title at all to boast about hakuwa na tajo yote ya kujionyesha with no papers and no credentials hakuwa na makaratasi yoyote ya kujionyesha and he remained and the bible says na akakumbakia na mungu biblia inasema he wrestled with god akangangana na mungu wrestled not for one hour sio kwa lisali moja tu not for two hours sio kwa masaa mawili but a whole night lakini usiku kucha for a whole night kwa usiku yote and when the time came na eh, wakati ulipofika when this man kwa umtu, in the form of god ali, ali, alipotokea kama mungu wanted to live akitaka kuondoka the bible says that jacob said bibi anasema yakobo akasema you are not letting me you are not leaving me until you bless me hautaniacha kabla hujanibariki you are not going anywhere until you bless me hautaenda kabla unibariki it was at that point ilikuwa ni wakati huo that this man started a conversation with jacob ababu huyu mtu alianza he's asking jacob <laughs> what's your name akamuuliza je unaitwa nani what's your name unaitwa nani and at that instant he wanted to change jacob's name na wakati huo akataka kubadilisha jina ya just like somebody here whom the lord wants to change his name today kama mtu hapa mtu mungu anataka kubadilisha jina lako leo kwa jina la yesu what is your name jina lako ni nani and the bible says yeye anasema that as day was breaking ya kwamba wakati kulikuwa kuna kucha this man touched the hip the socket of jacob's hip kwamba alishika upinde wa wa, wa, wa yakobo and as he touched it alipoguza He made it kind of be dislocated. Akaitenganisha kidogo. And from there henceforth. Na kuanzia hapo Jacob started limping. Akaanza kutembea. He could not walk properly. Hakangetembea kwa wima. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's as if God was now telling him. Ni kama Mungu alikuwa anamwambia. You will never get balance on your own. Ya kwamba hautausimama kivyako. Until you get your balance in me. Lazima upate kusimama kwa Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 
God was telling Jacob you Ume, have walked alone and you imagined you could make it na ukadhani utaweza but from today henceforth lakini kuanzia sasa hapo leo i have made sure that you will not have any strength of your own hautakuwa na nguvu kivyako unless you find it in being intimate na, with me lazima upate nguvu kutoka kwangu you will not walk straight anymore hautatembea wima tena your balance can only be found in me wima wako utapatikana ndani yangu praise the name of the lord amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord is here this morning. Bwana yuko hapa asubuhi ya leo. And he wants someone who will be willing to wrestle. Na anataka mtu ambaye ataweza kungangana. Like kumangana. Jacob wrestled. Jinsi Yakobo alipo. As we alipo. await for his second coming. Tunapongojea kurejea kwake. According to Genesis chapter 32 verse 22 to 32. He wants somebody who will pour out anataka everything ambaya, that you have held so dear ataondoa kila kitu ambaye ameshikilia sana because as you come to the lord kwa sababu unapokuja kwa mungu you cannot come as king hauwezi kuja you cannot come as the title that you have hautakuja kama cheo ambacho uko nacho you come unakuja as a child of god kama mtoto wa mungu praise the name of the lord amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen intimacy with god ushirikiano na mungu intimacy with god ushirikiano na Mungu intimacy with his word ushirikiano na neno lake intimacy at the place of prayer upatanisho katika sehemu ya maombi intimacy at worship upatanisho kwa mahali pa ibada come to a place where you do not have any balance unless you get it in god kufika mahali ambapo hauna uwezo mpaka uipate kwa Mungu because when the lord jesus christ will come back kwa sababu bwana yesu anaporejea he will not be excited to see this church full ya kwamba hata furahia kuona kanisa limejaa he will be excited at those people who walked with him in holiness atakuwa na furahia kwa wale ambao walitembea na yeye kwa utakatifu and maybe he will look in this church and only find one two or three ataangalia kwa umati na aone tu mmoja wawili ama watatu will you be among them Je, utakuwa kwa wale wa wili watatu? Will you be among them? Je, utakuwa mmoja wapo ya wale wa Will you have walked in intimacy with him? Je, utakuwa umetembea kwa ushikamano pamoja naye? Will you have come to a point where you are saying Utakuwa umefika katika kiwango ambacho unasema I don't have any balance. Ya kwamba sina uwezo wote. Apart from the balance I get in God. Ila uwezo utokao kwa Mungu. I know there are those who have been serving. Najua kuna wale ambao walikuwa na hudumu. In various capacities. Katika viwango mbalimbali. Could be serving as a pastor ulikuwa na hudumu kama mchungaji you could be serving as an usher unaweza kuwa na hudumu kama shamani you could be serving in the worship team unaweza kuwa na hudumu katika ibada you are in the hospitality uko katika watu wa hospitality you are in the ministry team uko katika huduma you are wherever uko kila mahali imagine god doesn't care lakini mungu hajali hiyo he wants intimacy with all anataka ule ambaye anatembea katika upatanisho pamoja na the name of the lord amen Many times we get excited. Wakati mwingi tunafurahia. And especially those of us who are serving. Kwa wale ambao tunahudumu. In one capacity or another. Kwa kiwango kingine ama kingine. We get kingine. excited when people tell you. Unafurahia watu wanapokuambia. Oh my bro you really did well today. Kwamba eh hey, leo umefanya vema bro. You sang well today. Umeimba vema. We get excited when people are giving us a round of applause. Tunafurahia watu wanapotupigia makofi. But I want to bring it to us today. Lakini wacha niwaambie siku ya leo. That people can be giving you a round of applause. Watu wanaweza ku Shangilia. When you are already dying kama wewe unakufa you are empty wewe ni wewe ni mtupu you have served on empty ume umehudumu kukuwa mtupu kabisa and so you can see, receive claps unaweza pokea makofi into your death ukiingia kwenye kifo chako kiroho bwana yesu asifiwe amen It is time for us ni wakati sisi kwetu to grow in intimacy with god tui tukue katika ushirika wetu na mungu praise the name of the lord amen Intimacy with God will mean we decrease as he increases. Inamaanisha kwamba tunashuka yeye anapoongezeka. We decrease as he increases. Na kwamba tunashuka lakini Mungu anaongezeka. That in my house. Katika nyumba yangu. Yes I'm the head of that home. Ninakuwa mimi ndio kichwa cha hiyo nyumba. But I allow Christ to be the head. Na ruhusu Yesu awe ni kichwa. In my house. Katika nyumba yangu. I am prospering in my place of work. Ninaendelea vizuri katika sehemu yangu ya kazi. But I allow Christ to be the head. Lakini naacha Yesu awe ndio kichwa. Decreasing kushuka as god increases yeye anapoongezeka decreasing as he increases kupungua yeye anapoongezeka because he is coming back soon kwa sababu anarejea hivi karibuni the current dispensation kwa nyakati siku nyakati hizi you see things or you hear things unasikia au kuona mambo and you're wondering unashangaa was that done by a believer je hiyo ilifanyika na muumini was that a believer je huyu alikuwa ni muumini 
The things that we are hearing never used to be heard of believers. Mambo ambayo tulikuwa tunasikia haikuwa yanafanyika na waumini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. You are born again. Umeokoka. You are serving the Lord. Unahudumia Mungu. But you still have a mpango wa kando. Lakini bado uko na mipango za kando. You come into this place. Unakuja mahali hapa. On a Sunday. Siku ya Jumapili. And you lift your hands up. Unainua mikono yako juu. When people are lifting their holy hands. Watu wanapoinua mikono yao takatifu juu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We cannot fool God. Hatuwezi mdanganya Mungu. We cannot fool God. Hatuwezi mdanganya Mungu. We've come to a point where we are believers. Tumefika wakati sisi ni waumini. But in the place of corruption. Lakini wakati katika mambo ya ufisadi. We are the ones being found there. Ni sisi ndio tunapatikana pale. We are believers. Sisi ni waumini. But when we get out of church on a Sunday. Lakini tunapotoka kanisani siku ya Jumapili. Come to Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. Kuja siku ya We have gone Alhamis. to seek powers from the shrines. Tumeenda kutafuta nguvu katika waganga. Who are we fooling? Je, tunadanganya nani? Who are we fooling? Je, tunadanganya nani? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Who are we fooling? And then we will meet with you and you will be telling us you know the Lord did it for me. Tutakutana na useme Mungu amenitendea. My business is prospering. Biashara yangu inaendelea. Yet you know it is somebody's husband. Na unajua ni mume wa mtu. Who stocked your business? Ambaye alikuletea stock in exchange for something kwa mabadilisho ya mambo mengine praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe who are we fooling je tunadanganya nani the eyes of the lord macho ya bwana move to and fro yanasonga kila mahali he sees you he sees me anakuona ananiona in our deepest places he sees us anatuona katika sehemu zetu zote We must come to a point of knowing God on our own. Lazima tufike kiwango cha kumjua Mungu kibinafsi. On our own. Kumjua kibinafsi. Before we can step out and serve and we were being taught about serving in the first service. Before we can step out and serve. Kabla ya kutoka na kwenda kuhudumu. Let's know God on our own. Wacha tumjue Mungu kibinafsi. Moses meets with God at the burning bush. Musa anakutana na Mungu katika bustani ambayo ilikuwa na moto. And God is sending him to the to go and rescue the Israelites from Egypt. Na Mungu anamtuma Misri kutoa wana wa Israeli. But Moses did not just go running. Musa hakukimbia tu kwenda Misri. It's only in the current dispensation that we started hearing of self-proclaimed pastors. In the olden days someone would call you a pastor you'd go into hiding. Wakati wa kitambo mtu angekuita mchungaji ungeenda Because it is a tall order. Kwa sababu ni kitu kizito. Tall order. Moses did not rush into rescuing the Israelites. Musa hakukimbia kwenda kuokoa wana wa Israeli. Instead he asked God, when I go Who will I say has sent me? Aliuliza Mungu, "Je, nikienda nitasema ni nani aliyenituma?" What did this mean? Ile maanisha nini? He was like, "I want to first know you intimately. Ile Nataka ma- ujidhihirishe kwangu, reveal yourself to me so that as I'm going to the Israelites, I can say I know you. I know that I know that I know that you are good." Alitaka Mungu adhihirishe kwake ili akienda kuambia wana wa Israeli ajue kwamba ni yeye ni yule Mungu ambaye amenituma. Before I can rise up on a Sunday and stand in the worship team, stand in the ushering, stand in whichever capacity I'm serving, I want to know you as I am. Kabla nende nifanye huduma katika kiwango chochote lazima nikujue kibinafsi. I want to have spent time in your presence. Lazima niwe na muda katika uwepo wako. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Who do you normally say has sent you? Je, wewe unasema ni nani aliyekutuma? Hallelujah. Amen. Who do you normally say has sent you? Je, unasema ni nani aliyekutuma? As I wind up, ninapomalizia. Today as I stand here, leo ninaposimama hapa. Maybe as I'm talking about the coming of the second coming of the king. Ninapoongea kuhusu kurejea kwa mfalme. You do not even know how to become intimate because you've never received the Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior. Kwa sababu haujui upatanisho wako utakuwa namna gani kwa sababu haujai mpokea Yesu Kristo. The altar is open. Madhabahu yamefunguka. And he is ready to receive you. Na yuko tayari kukupokea. And he is a God of many chances. Na ni Mungu wa fursa nyingi sana. You could be here today. Unaweza kuwa hapa leo. 
you are a believer. But to be sincere, lakini kwa ukweli you do not know what it means to be intimate with god lakini haujui kukuwa na upatanisho na mungu ama ushiriki wa karibu na mungu ni nini because you've been too busy kwa sababu umekuwa na shughuli mingi maybe you've been busy in your workplace umekuwa na shughuli nyingi wakati wako wa kazi you've been busy serving god umekuwa na mambo mengi ya kumtumikia mungu very busy doing things ukifanya mambo kwa shughuli mingi the lord doesn't care much about our being busy Mungu hashughulishi sana na wewe kuwa na shughuli mingi. He wants you to be intimate with him. Anataka uwe na ushirika wa karibu na yeye. Because it's at the place of intimacy. Kwa sababu ni mahali pa ushirika huo. That he will give you ideas to prosper without having to work too much. Ambapo utapata nafasi ya kupata mwelekezo ya kupata mali isipokuwa kufanya kazi sana. At the place of intimacy. Wakati wa ushirika pamoja nani. Maybe you are here you are serving. Uko hapa unahudumu. But sincerely? Lakini kwa ukweli It cannot be said of you that you walked with God until you are no more. Lakini haiwezi semekana kwamba ulitembea na Mungu hadi mwisho. Currently you are feeling inside of you. Unahisi ndani yako. That you are serving from empty. Unahudumu kwa utupu. You have given, you have given, you have given. Umejitolea, umejitolea, umejitolea. Until you have nothing. Lakini hauna kitu sasa. Yes, people have been cheering you up. Watu walikuwa wakikusherekea dio. But you're telling yourself you do not want to be cheered to your death. Lakini unaambia watu hautaki kusherekewa hadi kifo. You're telling God here I am feel me. Unaambia Mungu niko hapa nijaze. Feel me till I want no more. Nijaze ili nijazike kabisa. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Someone here is saying, Mtu hapa anasema, I want to find balance in God. Nataka kusimama wima kwa Mungu. I do not want to walk in my own strength anymore. Sitaki kutembea kwa nguvu zangu mwenyewe. So even as we rise up on our feet. Tunaposimama kwa miguu yetu. I don't know which category you are in. Sijui kwa katika kiwango kipi. I don't know what you're feeling in your heart sijui unahisi nini ndani ya moyo wako but as we arise today lakini tunaposimama siku ya leo have a reflection kuwa na mtazamo tena look deep inside your heart shangalie ndani ya moyo wako and be honest with yourself na kuwa na uhakika na ukweli kwa wewe binafsi be honest with yourself kuwa mkweli kwa wewe mwenyewe and tell god what it is that you want na ambia mungu unahitaji nini the lord is seeking intimacy mungu anatafuta ushirika wa karibu when jesus visited martha's house yesu alipotembea katika nyumba ya martha martha was very busy serving martha alikuwa na shughulisha na mambo ya utumishi serving so that they could be able to serve the lord with a meal wakishughulika kuandaa chakula kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo but mary sat at the feet of jesus lakini maria akaketi kwenye miguu ya kristo seeking intimacy akitafuta upatanisho na ushirikiano na mungu seeking intimacy akitafuta ushirika na mungu today the lord is looking for someone who will say Mungu anatafuta mtu ambaye atasema I want to be intimate with you. Nataka kuwa kupatanishwa na wewe. I want to walk with you. Nataka kutembea pamoja na wewe. Until I will be no more. Mpaka wakati sitakuepo. Until I'll be lost in you. Lazima nipotee ndani yako. That when people will be looking at me. Kama watu watakunitazama mimi. They'll be able to see you. Watakuwa natazama Yesu. They'll be able to see your DNA. Wataweza kuona chembe chembe zako. In my life. Ndani ya maisha yangu. And as we invite the ministry team. Tunapowaelekea huduma just come and help us out you are there uko pale and you're telling god here i am unaambia mungu ndiye yeye niko hapa i used to love you lord nilikupenda nakupenda bwana i used to love your word lord nilikuwa napenda neno lako bwana when i gave my life to you nilipojitolea kwako but i have lost it lakini nimepoteza because of the cares of life kwa sababu ya shughuli za maisha because of the cares of life kwa sababu ya shughuli za maisha i have lost it nimeipoteza the lord is saying bwana anasema i am ready to revive your life niko hapa ili kufia maisha yako oh i'm ready to release the, my move in your life niko tayari kutoa msukumo wangu ndani ya maisha yako and so you can just come Unaweza songa hapa mbele. He can restore you. Anaweza kurejesha maisha yako. He can restore his love. Anaweza rejesha upendo wake. He can restore your first love. Anaweza rejesha upendo wako wa kwanza. The days when you'd not go to bed before you you pray. Wakati ulikwenda kwa haungeweza kulala kabla uombe. You'd not go to bed oh yes before you read the word of God. Haungeenda kulala kabla usome neno la Mungu. That day can be restored. Hiyo siku inaweza rejeshwa tena. So the ministry team is right here. Wahuduma wako pamoja nasi hapa. You can just walk and have yourself being prayed for. Unaweza songa mbele na uombe pamoja na mtu. We have some in the balcony. Kuna wengine pale juu. Outside. Pale nje. And what you're saying is Lord that I may reduce. Ya kwamba ukaambia Mungu niweze kupungua. Increase in me. 
Ongezeka ndani yangu. Increase in me. Ongezeka ndani yangu. Increase in me. Ongezeka ndani yangu. Thank you Jesus. Just take a step and walk. Chukua na fursa uje mbele hapa. Thank you Jesus. 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 Do not remain like an old vessel. A vessel that says God used to use me. Tuseme kama kwamba nilikuwa natumiwa na Mungu. When I was young I went for cashers God used me. Wakati nilikuwa mdogo nilienda kwenye kesha na Mungu alinitumia. I used to go for missions. Nilikuwa naenda kwenye The Lord used me in great ways. Mungu alinitumia kwa njia kuu. We want that old vessel to be renewed. Tunataka ile chombo cha zamani kisafishwe tena. So that it can be used one more time. Ili kitumike tena mara ya pili. Because the Bible says if you will clean yourself. Biblia inasema unapojiunganisha wewe mwenyewe. In the book of Timothy. Katika kitabu cha Timotheo. The Bible says that he will be willing to use you for noble use. Ataweza kutumia katika kichombo kipekee. Because he says in that uh, in the book of Timothy Anasema katika Timotheo that in a big house there are vessels. Kwenye nyumba ya Bwana kuna vyombo. There are vessels of honor and dishonor. Kuna vyombo vya heshima na visivyo na heshima. There are those that are used for noble use. Kuna vile zinatendeka kwa kazi ya kipekee. But there are those that are not used for noble use. Kuna vile ni vya kawaida tu. Just like in our ordinary houses we have dust bins. Kuna vyombo vya kubeba uchafu. And we have those utensils that you use to serve the important guests. Na kuna vile vyombo za kuhudumia wageni. Oh that the Lord would use you. Oh Mungu akutumie. As a vessel of honor. Kama chombo cha heshima. If by chance the enemy has been using you as a dustbin where he throws his stuff from time to time he's throwing his anger, he is throwing his bitterness, he is throwing his stuff. Today, leo God can change that for you. Mungu anaweza badilisha hiyo kwa ajili yako. Oh God can change it for you. Mungu anaweza ibadilisha kwa ajili yako. Because you are meant to be used for noble purposes. Kwa sababu umetakaswa kutengenezwa kwa kazi ya kipekee. You are meant to be used for noble purposes. Umeandaliwa kwa kazi ya kipekee. Shalalalabukosiyanalamazeana. Oh yes, just keep coming, keep coming. Kuja tu, kuja tu. And the Lord is no respecter of persons. Na Mungu yeye haogopi watu. He is not looking. Haangalii tu. At your title. Cheo chako ama taji lako. Today just let go of your title, let go of your property, let go of everything and come to the Lord. Shukisha kila kitu chako ama taji yako mali yako. Like Jacob did. Jinsi Yakobo alipofanya. Come to the Lord. Jo kwa Yesu. And tell him Lord I'm not letting you go. Ni kwamba umwambie Mungu sikuachilii. Until you bless me. Paka unibariki. I'm not letting you go today. Na sikuachilii siku ya leo. Until you bless me. Hadi unibariki. I'm not going back as a vessel. Siendi tu kama chombo. That is not used for noble purposes. Bacho sio cha kazi ya heshima. You can come. Unaweza kuja. You can come. Unaweza kuja. Says just as you are. Jinsi ulivyo tu. Just as you are. Jinsi ulivyo. Just come as you are. Jinsi ulivyo. Come as you are. Kuja jinsi ulivyo. Lebreke siana la moshendere ya la la mazanto robo. Oh God. The king is here today. Mfalme yuko hapa leo. He saying I'm willing to receive you. Sema uko tayari kumpokea. I'm willing to receive you. Yuko tayari kukupokea. I will remove the pain that has cost you not to want to serve. Nitaondoa ile uchungu ambayo ilifanya usiweze kuhudumu. I'll remove that pain that has cost you not to be able to be intimate. Nitaondoa ile uchungu ambayo imefanya usikwe na ushirika wa karibu na Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. We worship you Jesus Mimi ni pungue we we ongezeke Mimi ni pungue we we ongezeke Mimi ni pungue we we ongezeke Mimi ni pungue 
Contemplating whether to come and receive the Lord Jesus Christ. His hands are open wide. Ready to receive you. Ready to walk with you in intimacy. Just come. Just come as you are. You could be thinking that the things you've been doing are not really nice. And you're wondering whether Christ can be able to forgive you. Oh yes, he's a loving God. The Bible says that when we were yet sinners, Christ came and he died for us on the cross of Calvary. For this reason Jesus came. Kwa sababu hiyo Yesu alikuja. Keep coming, keep coming. Njo kwa Yesu, njo kwa Yesu. Just come, come, come. Kuja, kuja, kuja njo. Hallelujah. Amen. Just come, do not hesitate. Usikawie kuja kwa Yesu. That when the trumpet will sound. Wakati trumpet italia. You will not only hear. Hautasikia tu. But you will also be taken up in heaven. Utaenda tu pamoja nae mbinguni. You will go rejoicing with him. Utaenda ukisherekea pamoja nae. You will go rejoicing with him. Utaenda ukisherekea pamoja nae. You've been serving from empty. Ulikuwa toa huduma kwa utupu. But the Lord wants to fill you one more time. Lakini Mungu anakuhitaji kujaza tena. He wants to fill you one more time. Anahitaji kukujaza tena. All he's saying is let go of everything that has been filling you. I want to fill you today. Mungu anataka kukujaza tena siku ya leo. Keep coming. Njoo tu kwa Yesu. Keep coming. It's not all gone. Haijaisha kabisa njoo kwa Yesu. It's not all lost. Haijapotea. It's not all lost. Haijapotea. Hallelujah. And maybe you are here and you you never remember giving your life to Christ. Uko hapa na ukumbuki kumpea maisha yako Kristo. All you know is that you grew up in a Christian family. Wewe ukiona unajua kwamba uliishi katika familia ya Ukristo. And so you've been walking like that, you can't even become intimate. Uliko kitembea hivyo hatawezi kuwa na ushirika wa karibu. The Lord is saying it is you I want. Mungu anasema ni wewe nahitaji. It is you I want. Ni wewe nahitaji. I love you. I died for you on the cross of Calvary. Nakupenda nilikufia msalabani pale Calvary. Just come. Jo tu. The altar is open for you to receive the Lord. Madhabahu yamefunguka ili umpokee bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu.